Good morning, everybody. It's Stacy from the Chippewa Branch Library, and I'm presenting story time today. Uh, today is May 5th, and May 5th, some people know, is Cinco de Mayo, and it's celebrated in Mexico. And so today's book is going to be about salsa, <laughs> because salsa is good, and it's a nice way to help. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hi, Juliana. I see your mom's name popped up there. I can't always see everybody's name, so when I do see them, I will say hello. So our songs today, our songs and rhymes are just our normal everyday ones that we do almost every week. Just I mix them up. So the first one I'm going to start with, though, is this one. Can you see that? What is that? We have some dark gray clouds and some thunder lightning bolts, not thunderbolts. So this one's called I Hear Thunder. All right, ready? I hear thunder, I hear thunder. Oh, don't you, oh, don't you. Pitter patter raindrops, pitter patter raindrops. I'm wet through, I'm wet through. I see Anna's here. I see your mom's name popped up. Good to see you. Let's see. Um, what does thunder sound like? Did we have thunder this week? I didn't hear any, did you? you know, does, can you make a big crashing sound like thunder? <sighs> That's not really big, but you know, thunder's much louder, much, much louder. All right, <clears throat> all right, let's see, who's this guy? That is our friend, Baba Black Sheep. All right, are you ready? Baba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, one for the little boy who lives down the lane. All right. Look, I have a Halloween rhyme on the back of that. I forgot about that one. I guess it's been a long time since I've noticed. <laughs> I've done Baba black sheep with this card before, but I never really read the card. Okay. Take that off, and then next October we'll do three little ghouls, or blah, blah. I don't even remember what it is, but it had something to do with little ghouls. All right, who do we have here? Have you seen these guys around lately? I was having dreams about them for some reason yesterday or the day before. Oh, wow. All right, this is Itsy Bitsy. Can you show me your Itsy Bitsies? I can't see them, but you can point them at the camera or you can show your grown up. Itsy Bitsy, are you ready? The Itsy Bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy spider went up the spout again. Very good, very good. So that one was about rain. The first one was about rain. I think it's been raining. A couple weeks ago it was snowing, then it was really pretty out, and now it's raining. Does this sound like rain to you? Does that sound like rain to you? You know it's making that noise? Do you hear that noise? Maraca. Maracas are from Mexico, as far as I understand. That's where I've always seen them from. And they make noise and they go with people singing and dancing. Do you have any of those? Maybe you made some before. I think I had that as a craft. A few times I had the little shaky eggs and some of them had spoons attached to make a maraca shape. So you can use those if you want. All right. What is this? That is a barn. And because our story today takes place in a barnyard and on a farm, I thought we would do a verse or two of Old MacDonald. So, are you ready? We're going to do a cow first. You know what? We're going to do a chicken first because that is what the, the story is about. It's about a chicken first. It's actually about a rooster first, a rooster and chickens some ducks and some pigs. Okay, so are you ready? <clears throat> a 
Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a rooster, E-I-E-I-O. And what a rooster say? With a cock a doodle doo here and a cock a doodle doo there, here a cock a doodle, there a cock a doodle, everywhere a cock a doodle of Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. That's a hard verse. Wow, we won't do that one again for a while. All right, so I said the rooster, and then I said the ducks. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had some ducks, E-I-E-I-O, with a, what do they say? Quack, quack here, and a quack, quack there, here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack, quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. <clears throat> and the next animal in the story is going to be pigs. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had some pigs, E-I-E-I-O, with a, what do they say? With an oink, oink here, and an oink, oink there, here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. I feel like there was one more thing I said, and it's gone. All right, we'll move on from that song. That's a fun song to sing. It is repetitive, so you start to remember the verses. The only thing you need to remember is that you need to change the animals and what they say. You just got to remember what they say. All right, one more, our last one. There's our grannies. Are you ready? Show me your grandma's glasses. Can you pinch your fingers together? Pinch them together to make circles like that. When I do that, it looks like, to me, it reminds me of a chicken with a little comb on their head. All right, so here we go. These are Grandma's glasses, and this is Grandma's hat, and this is the way she folds her hands in her lap. These are Grandpa's glasses, and this is Grandpa's hat, and this is the way he folds his arms and takes a It's a good nap day because it's raining. It's raining. I'm going to put my maracas away so they don't fall. And here is our book. Look how colorful it is. Do you see that? That rooster is colorful himself. You can see he's red and his comb is red. And then back here are his tail feathers. You can see there's some red and orange, green purple. There's a red one. And he's wearing, what kind of hat is this? It is a sombrero. I think it's Stacy has one to wear today. There we go. Looks like a yellow sombrero. All right. <clears throat> and what animals are these? So we have a rooster and these are their hens. They're a girl chicken and the rooster is the boy chicken. This book, Chicks and Salsa, is written by Aaron Reynolds and illustrated by Paulette Bogan. Yeah, that's right. And Aaron Reynolds, you might remember his name from a book we've read before. Actually, two books. If you did the story hike in October, we did Creepy Carrots. He wrote that book and he wrote A Creepy Pair of Underwear. Aaron Reynolds. So if you like those books, you are probably going to like this one. It's a little different, but it's just as fun. Okay, so this story takes place on a farm, like I told you, and it's called Nuthatcher Farm. And that is Mrs. Nuthatcher. She's taking a rest after doing her laundry. And look at that piggy. He's stealing her lunch. Oh my. All right, here we go. Wow, these chickens look tired. Bored. They look bored. There were grumblings in the hen house of Nuthatcher Farm. The chickens were tired of chicken feed. The rooster took it upon himself to solve this problem. All right, let's take a look and see who's in this picture. We have the rooster. We have the chickens looking bored. And they were grumbling. We have a spider 
We have some horses. And what's that guy? He's a mouse or a rat. Oh, I see some ants down here. Okay, just seeing who's who's who in the story. Okay, here we go. Mrs. Nuthatcher, the farmer's wife, had started watching cooking shows in the afternoons. The rooster was perched on a fence post outside the farmhouse window when he discovered the solution to his problem. Salsa. So salsa is going to solve the chicken's problem? Interesting. Have you ever eaten salsa? I like it. Oh my goodness, what are they doing? All right, led by the rooster, the chickens crept into the garden where they took tomatoes and uprooted onions. Can you see the onions they've taken out of the ground? Onions grow in the ground and the green, long green stem pokes out of the ground. Tomatoes grow on like a little shrub and you have to tie them up because they're really a vine. And if you tie them up so that they stay straight up, then uh, it works better. They don't fall on the ground. That night, the chickens ate chips and salsa, though nobody was quite sure where the chickens got the chips. Do you see where they may have gotten the chips? The rat knew where to get them, so they paid in him. That's funny. All right. The tasty tang of tomatoes and onions hung over the barnyard, and the rooster said, Ole! You see him saying, Ole? Okay, very soon there were mumblings at the duck pond of Nuthatcher Farm. Inspired by the chickens, the ducks decided they were tired of fish. While the with the rooster's encouragement, the ducks dipped into the garden where they selected cilantro and gathered garlic. You see the rooster peeking out of the grass? Who else is peeking out of the grass? That little mouse with the glasses. Hmm, there's a turtle. Hmm. So I wonder what the, they're going to make with uh, garlic and cilantro. Those are also ingredients in salsa, but this might be something different. That night, the ducks ate guacamole, though nobody was quite certain where the ducks got the avocados. You make guacamole with avocados. Oh, maybe there they are. Hmm. The spicy scent of garlic and cilantro hung over the barnyard, and the ducks said, Ole! Uh-oh. They're looking a little grumpy. All right, who do we have here? Interesting. The next morning, there were rumblings in the pig pen of Nuthatcher Farm. Overwhelmed by the enticing aromas, the pigs decided they were tired of slop. Well, do you see the slop? What they're eating is in that brown thing there and the pig, I forget what they call that. The pig trough, pig trough. It's brown and green. That's not a fun color to eat all the time. So let's see what they do. Oh, what's happening? Oh no, what's it say? Um, while the, the rooster distracted Farmer Nuthatcher, oh, he's helping the pigs. The pigs plodded into the garden where they borrowed beans and chopped chilies. So there they are, borrowing some beans. Oh my goodness, chili peppers are really hot. And you can see that this little piggy has had a few and his mouth is burning. That night, the pigs ate nachos, though nobody was quite certain where the pigs got the nacho cheese sauce. I think we have an idea, don't we? The delightful, the delightful deliciousness of cheese and chilies hung over the barnyard, and the pigs said, Olay! All right, what's over here? I gotta read this way. This is hard to read. As everyone knows, when a passion for Southwestern cuisine takes hold of farm animals and so many sumptuous, spicy, savory scents collide in the barnyard, it can only lead to one thing. 
What do you think it's going to be? Fiesta! Do you know what Fiesta is? Fiesta is a party. All right. The rooster got things organized, then returned to his fence post to watch for a good enchilada recipe. The hostess, the horses decorated the barn. The, the, the bull practiced his Mexican hat dance, though nobody was quite certain where he got the sombrero. There's a stack of little sombreros. So, see it like my sombrero. Only mine's small. And the chickens, ducks, and pigs snuck into the garden. <gasps> but all of their spicy southwestern supplies were gone. The scallions had been stolen. The peppers had been pilfered. The limes had been lifted. Even the limes. My goodness. <gasps> but there were slurpings in the kitchen of Nuthatcher Farm. Stirred by the succulent smells in the barnyard, Mrs. Nuthatcher had decided to make tamales for the county fair. A saucy sweetness hung over the farmhouse kitchen, and Mrs. Nuthatcher said, Away! Oh, these poor dejected animals. Disappointed, the animals canceled the fiesta. That evening, the chickens ate their chicken feed, the ducks ate their fish, and the pigs ate their slop. They look so sad. Aww. But while the nut hatchers were at the fair, the rooster crept into the kitchen and borrowed a French cookbook. The next morning, the rooster ate crepes with white grapes in champagne sauce. Though nobody is quite certain where the rooster learned how to read. And I've had crepes with white grapes and champagne sauce, and it's really good. A satisfied smile stretched over the rooster's beak, and the rooster said, Ooh la la. <laughs> All right, that was a fun book. It's silly. It's silly. So in, if you got um, a craft bag from me for story time, we still have a few at the library, but if you did already, you will see that um, there is a chicken, a rooster craft in there. All right, and I put the instructions in there, but this is what it would kind of look like. All right, you fold the wing, you fold the beak. It's hard to do this with one hand. You fold the beak there, and then these are the tail feathers. And then this is the comb. All right, and also in there are the recipes that they had for hog wild nachos, guacamole, and rooster's roasted salsa. So maybe that's something you can try. Maybe not these recipes specifically, but maybe some recipes you have that you found online or in a cookbook that you have at home. You can talk to your mom and dad about that. Or maybe you already have salsa or guacamole in the refrigerator and you can try some if you've never tried it before. Sometimes it's a little spicy, so you gotta be careful. I know that my son has always liked spicy, a little bit spicy stuff, so he's been okay with it, but he doesn't eat it all the time. So he did like that. All right, you guys, it's been fun hanging out with you this morning on, on Cinco de Mayo, which means the 5th of May in Spanish. And I hope that this book has inspired you to try something new um, nacho chips or tacos even. Something Mexican today would be fun. All right, you guys have a great day and I'll see you next week. Next week, we're going to do Mo Willems. Mo Willems is a good guy. He's funny. All right, you guys have a great day.